Well, hello, it's Chad Geis. It's time for another revelation from out of nowhere, brought to you by Surgeon. And today, I don't know if it'll be part one, but it's certainly the first part we're filming in this series of a revelation from the heart, which we opened up as a result of some time I spent in the hospital having my heart checked out. See, today I happen to be uh, walking to the university, the local university. I'm out here on construction site. Who knows we'll show up. I might get run off with a stick. Y'all stay tuned. It could get exciting here in a minute because I didn't really ask permission to be out here. But it's a great setting for the message that I want to share with you today. See, my daughter had a uh, science fair at the local university. She's in junior high, but this was the setting for it. And I had to park a long way away, and I walked by this construction site. And as I thought about this series and some of the things and thoughts I wanted to share with you as a result of my time in the hospital, certainly it was those people that took care of me, that attended to my needs, and you know were ultimately concerned with my well-being that I wanted to talk about. But this made me think, maybe I needed to go back a step or two if I really wanted to encompass this message of surgeon, this identity, what this idea is all about. Because you see, as great as that uh, state-of-the-art technology was in that facility, it really wasn't applicable without the facility. I think we need to stop and consider this. Sometimes we overlook uh, people that play an absolute critical role in our life and in the world that we operate in. You see, these people that were tasked with my care would have been very difficult for them to complete their task had it not for them been the building that someone else constructed. This isn't a university, and take that back a step farther, it would have been very difficult for those people to gain the knowledge that they had and that they possessed in order to attend to my needs had it not been for somebody constructing the buildings that they learned in. Sometimes we admire the education that someone received, but we overlooked the person that created the ability for them to obtain the education that ultimately impacted us. See, as I watched these construction workers this afternoon as I walked by, I was amazed at the complexity of this building, all the moving pieces, and everybody had an independent role that has to work together ultimately to build something that will last the test of time and create an opportunity for that higher learning. Surgeons take all kinds of shapes and roles and responsibilities in this world. What we admire about a surgeon is their character, their impact on other people's lives. And when you take that message and you apply it to all kinds of occupations, Surgeons start to appear everywhere. You know, this is about surgeon. I'm wearing my surgeon ball cap. It's a reminder to me, it's an expression to other people of the significance that we all can choose to have if we do a job well, if we do it with a manner of integrity, with a knowledge that every action we have is gonna impact somebody else in our world that we live in. This is a thought for you today. This is the first of a series where we unpack a lot of things that went through my mind and I observed and considered in my time in the hospital. I would encourage you to go to surgeonrevelation.com. There's some amazing videos, there's some great people out there, and there's some products that simply just serve as an expression. They carry a brand that serves as a reminder of you, an expression to others of this identity that we hope to share, we hope to spread, of looking at people in a different light and acknowledging the value and the impact they have in the world that we live in today. Love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining. I hope I'll see you on the next revelation from out of nowhere brought to you by Surgeon.